Here's the deal with Splitsecond. It's got some of the best explosions you've ever seen in any you know game what? ever. Whether it's, it's a driving game, shooter, bar none. It, to me, it basically answers the question, what happens if Burnout was on a set of 2012 by accident? <laughs> but yeah, actually the production values and explosions are really, really good yeah. for what is a racing game of all things. When we were in the demo, I was, yeah. I was thinking, if Michael Bay and MacGruber decided, MacGruber <laughs> decided to make a driving game, it'd be something like this. I mean, On the vocabulary of burnout, where like whether it's the way it controls and just the kind of the camera angle of your car as you're driving around, and I mean it's, it's a game that's all about driving. This isn't a sim. That, that's not what it's yeah, all about. Yeah. For me, I, I don't play any racing games, so this is something fun. This is a Mario Kart with like really <laughs> super sweet slick graphics, and also like Mario Kart, you have constant blue shells going off everywhere <laughs> that's yeah. right. in the form of these explosions. The track itself is a blue shell in a lot of situations. There's stuff set up to just fuck with everyone on the track. Yeah. You can build up uh, your power play meter By is set up on your track. Drafting and I think is there a third jumping. So, so drifting, drafting, jumping, and also uh, like passing guys really closely. Those are ways you build up this meter that you can then use when uh, whenever an icon shows up that says like power play, where it shows like a car with like an exclamation mark next to it. Yeah. You hit it and like some crazy shit happens. Everyone gives Burnout the credit for kind of holding this niche in the like racing market. It's all about destructibility. No one else has really been able to capture it. Sega had Full Auto, which was a 360 launch title, oh, yeah. which they eventually brought to PS3, which tried to do some yeah. of these things, but never really took off. And I don't know, I saw Split Second the first time, I saw it last year before E3, and I mean, it's a stunning game to look at. It's a game that's meant for screenshots because yeah. you can take a picture of anything and it's gonna look fantastic. This is the first time that I've gotten to actually play the game. The last time I saw it was GDC and they were just showing off a track. So getting to play the game, you really, you get a feel for how things can really change. Yeah. Like, so the level they showed us, you have this boat hanging precariously <laughs> up yeah, above you're, you. You're, you're down in the docks, by the way. So you're, <laughs> free lap, harbor, you're, you're going underneath called, it. Yeah. And like you, it's like you're in this really claustrophobic tunnel and you have the boat yeah, up right above, above you. you. And so as you come back around the second time, you've built up your meter and inevitably someone is gonna set off a power play and bring it crashing down or either on top of somebody or just around everyone as they're yeah. going through it. But there's a second power play you can do after that. They can make it, you can basically launch the boat forward, mm -hmm. even though it'd be like on fire and like almost like crashing into other things. So there's, you alter your geometry two ways, essentially with that one section of the road. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean the fact that the ship, when you actually launch <coughs> it, if you time it just right, you can catch people inside the ship while it's launching and they can actually be in oh. contact the ship with the ship while it's moving. That's, to me, is just insane. Yeah. That's the hook they're going for, yeah. is the fact that you're gonna have a different experience playing every lap, every yeah. race is gonna be different because whether you're playing against computer opponents or playing against friends, whether split screen on the same system or yeah. online, which most people will probably play it that way, uh, you know, it's a different experience. With Criterion working on a Need for Speed game, it's you know rumored, but there's been screenshots out there. Beyond we don't, the law or whatever. It's yeah, called. who knows when we're going to see another Burnout game? So I don't know. I think Split Second is positioned really well for yeah. maybe picking up that torch and carrying it. And that's also while. really pick up a play for like they the guy commented that basically there's like only five real inputs. Like you got was it break, accelerate, like turn on power play and turn on shortcut, and that's yep. like all, that's all you have. And then you're steering. And, and yeah, you it's steering. Five, <laughs> it's five like, inputs in the entire controller. So yeah. It's the kind of thing that anyone can pick up and play and just have fun with it. It seems like what, that's what they're going for.